the only real way to learn things in life is to actually experience them. You know, in first or second grade, our teacher would give us a worksheet, and me and my peers would do the instructions one by one. At that very end, it would say, do not follow any of the previous instructions. <laughs> if only if real life was, you know, like that. Hmm. Alastella oli yksi poika, joka oli samassa luokassa kuin sen kiusaaja. Mutta tämä poika ei millään, ei siis millään halunnut olla samaan aikaan tunnilla sen kiusaajan kanssa. Joten kerran, tai ehkä useammankin kerran, tämä poika pyysi opettajalta jos se voisi mennä vessaan. Mutta mitä tämä poika oikeasti teki? Se lähti pois sieltä koulusta ja meni tonne läheiseen metsään. Don't mess it up! Tää poika tiesi, että se oli säteen vastaista, mutta se teki ni niin silti, koska se ei halunnut olla samassa paikassa samaan aikaan sen kiusajan kanssa. Siellä se poika vietti aikaansa sitten, kunnes sitä lopulta tultiin hakemaan. Yleensä se oli joko opettaja tai pari tyyppiä sen luokalta. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, tietenkin tämä poika sai jonkunlaisen rangaistuksen. Se joutui jäämään sinne kouluun vielä. Oliko se nyt yhden tunnin ajaksi, vaikka se olisi päässyt jo lähtemään. Mutta tämä poika ei ole ollut ollenkaan moksiskaan siitä, koska se kiusaja oli jo lähtynyt, joten se oli vihdoin päässyt eroon siitä. Yeah. Ainakin siksi aikaa. Don't be mad at me because you messed it up.
down this bar. A good friend of mine named Larry Olson. Larry Olson had a very big penchant for drinking, which he did very well on almost every single night. One night, all me and Larry were uh, sitting out by his house. He says, hey, man, you want to go down to the pub? He's like, no, man, there's no pubs around here. Larry Olson was beyond drunk at this point. It's like, well, me and my old lady want to go down to the pub. It's like, man, there's no pubs around here. This is America. Larry's like, man, fuck you. I can find myself a pub if I try. I said, okay, Larry, you go ahead and try. Larry Olson drove his old car, this old Oldsmobile, redundant. White was a Buick in 1943. Nice car. Larry's driving this old Buick around town, and it's uh, catching the rain. Him and his old lady and his good friend were in there, too. His friend's name is Chuck. And him and Chuck was like, hey, man, let's stop by the bank so we can get some money for this pub. It's like, all right, that seems like a reasonable deal. Well, between all the rain and the inebriation, Larry didn't quite catch that turn quite right. Larry then attempted at about 50 miles, 55 miles per hour to make a 90 degree turn. Boy, this Buick's bottom heavy, but that rock did hit him right. He flipped his car over, flung his friends out the front, and Larry sat there with the steering column through his chest. Larry, in a drunken, gurgled, bloodied stupor, had basically ended his own life and maimed two of his best, closest friends. Larry was a drinker, and he died as such. It happened? Yeah. It happened. I decided to, uh, think I was a know it all. I mean, It wasn't a slip of the mind. You gotta think all ghost pain. It, it's it's odd. It's odd when you lose a ligament. Your body remembers it there. Your subconscious remembers it being there. And, uh, it's part of living with the consequences, you know, that's tied on top of a lot of the things that usually happens. I gotta learn how to write lightheadedly. Fucking sucks. I wouldn't say never do something to help out another person. All I'm saying is, 
They'll be an idiot. Life is going to come with dangerous situations. You can't help that. You can not help that. So just don't be an idiot about it. That you can help. And all I can think about is... All I can think about is a friend of mine who's going to be a father soon. And his children growing up. And children... Except for maybe memories within our DNA. Like how some scientists hypothesize about. You know, their brains are a clean slate. A fresh new hard drive in which we can imprint data on. They're going to make mistakes. And there's nothing we can do about it. That's part of the reason I'm going to keep on having wars and whatnot. You think our school system and us telling our kids about human history is going to stop it, but it's not. They have to learn. I mean, just look at some of them react about shit. And some of them go like, Oh, damn, nigga! Shit! You know, they're like, Oh, you! <laughs> no. We're doomed. This hope. Some of us are smart enough. The majority of us aren't. And, and we just have to live with it. Fucking, I can't masturbate really with my right arm. You know, can't write. It's harder for me to drive. I mean, here, here, I, I used to play D and D. You know, I used to play D and D, and um, it's all different. I can't type for the damn. Finding jobs harder. And it's like every single time you're reminded of such, it just comes back to you again and again and again. It's like one blow after another, bring it all back as if it's happening all over again. There's no way to live. Oh, well, I can live with the fact that I got it not as bad as some other people, but then again, I got it worse than other people. Okay. And 